everybody, welcome to this week's tapping video. This week's topic is inspired from a request I had through my social media uh, to do a tapping video for a business owner who is finding difficulties in finding new clients, um, allowing new clients into her business so that her business can grow. Now, while I will be referring specifically to things around business, um, you can actually apply this technique to anything in your life that you may be feeling held back in, any project or goal that you have that you want to move forward with, but there's just something there that is stopping you and you can't quite put your finger on what it is um, and why you can't move forward, but there's something there. And one of the really good things about tapping is that it can really help you to discover what that is. And because we're doing the physical tapping and grounding our bodies as we explore what might be holding us back, it means that we are letting our mind feel safe enough to be able to explore what it might be because exploring that may bring up some things that feel really challenging or a bit emotional or scary or sad or a whole range of things and so the beautiful part of tapping is that you've got that mind body connection so that both your mind and body feel grounded and safe in order to explore whatever it is you need to and acknowledge whatever it is you need to and release it so that you can then move forward with whatever it is that you want to move forward with. So as always, I suggest having a notepad and pen with you and a bottle of water or a drink um, if you need to take a breath and have a sip of water. Um, and we will get started by tapping on the side of the hand. So even though I'm feeling blocked, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I'm not moving forward in a way I would like, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though there's something holding me back from accepting new clients into my business, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. I'm feeling really restricted. I'm feeling really blocked in finding new clients for my business. I feel like I'm just not moving forward in this area. And I don't know what it is. I don't know why I can't find new clients. I feel like there's something mentally blocking me from allowing this to happen. I feel like there's something emotionally blocking me. I'm holding myself back in a way and it's stopping me from moving forward and allowing growth into my business. I'm just not sure what it is and why I have this block. But I'm feeling really constricted and I'm feeling really frustrated And it would be better to know what it is so that I can move forward with it. What is it that's holding me back? What is it about the concept of new clients that for some reason I won't let myself accept this into my life? Am I manifesting this? Is it something that I'm doing? Why won't I let these clients into my business? What block do I have here that's holding me back from business growth? Am I scared? Does growing mean too much responsibility? 
Will growing my business mean new challenges? Am I equipped to meet these challenges? I'm feeling so frustrated about all of this. And I'm feeling this fear. And all of this self-doubt. It's easier to just stay small. Because what if I can't live up to those challenges? What if growth or moving forward with my goal sees me come up against something I hadn't anticipated? Growth means putting myself out there. New clients means meeting new people and really backing myself. It requires me to put out to the world that what I do and what I offer is valid and necessary and that I am an expert in that field. And that's a huge responsibility on me. And that makes me feel scared. And it makes me feel apprehensive. And the responsibility of that is overwhelming. And I'm holding all of these emotions in my body. Holding them all in my body and my mind. And because they seem so big, I can't move forward with any decision making or marketing. I can't move forward with the things that I need to do to attract the new new clients. And I know that I can help people. And I know that my goals are worthy and necessary. And they could be so beneficial and so great. But even though I tell myself all of this, I still let myself stay stuck. I'm letting myself stay at one level. I'm playing small. And I'm frustrating myself. And I think that underneath all of this, I'm feeling afraid. There's all of this fear And that fear is making me doubt myself. Doubt my ability. Doubt how necessary I am and how necessary my service is. It's making me doubt whether I have the skills and the knowledge to reach my goal. It's just easier to play small. It's just easier to not face the fear, to not face the challenges, to just stay small because that way I don't have the responsibility. I don't have to learn how to cope with the challenges. I don't have to put myself out there to the world. I don't have to back myself. And so I'm just going to be here staying small 
in my comfort zone, staying in my lane, because that's where I feel safe. But while I feel safe here, I don't feel fulfilled. Feeling safe is not allowing me to help the people that I know I can help. I know there is a bigger picture here. And I know that there's something bigger that is needed of me. It's bigger than my safe zone. The people that I know I can help need me to step out of this safe zone. And I know all of this, but oh my goodness, that responsibility feels so overwhelming. I'd just like to be able to step out of this safe zone. What is it that I need to do to step out of this safe zone? I know what's holding me back. I know that it's fear and self-doubt that's holding me back. I can say that. I can acknowledge that, but I also know that that is just my ego talking. That is my ego trying to protect me and keep me safe. So I'd like to let my ego know that while I thank it, and I acknowledge what it's trying to do, it's okay to stop doing that now. The fear and the self-doubt no longer serves me. I'm choosing now to release that fear. I'm choosing to release that self-doubt. I'm giving myself permission to shine. Giving myself permission to step out into the world with the knowledge that that will feel so much more validating than staying in my safe area. And even though I may still have some fear because putting myself on show to the world does seem a bit scary, and letting in new clients and new people and new opportunities means facing the unknown, which is also scary. I can also acknowledge that fear so that I can face it and I can make the decisions that I need to make despite it. And I can take the actions that I need to take despite that fear. And I only need to take one small action at a time, one new client at a time. I can grow in small steps, one ladder rung at a time, so that it doesn't seem so scary or overwhelming. And I can let go of the overwhelm about the responsibility I have for these clients because they have their own responsibility as well. They are responsible for themselves. I can be their guide. I have the skills. I have the experience. I have the knowledge. And I know how important I can be and how beneficial I can be for these clients. 
and how amazing everything that comes with meeting my goals could be. So today, I'm choosing to believe in me. I'm choosing to trust that the perfect clients will come my way at the perfect time. I'm acknowledging that all of these blocks that I have and all of these limiting beliefs are just something that I told myself and chose to believe it as the truth. And with that, I know that I can tell myself anything I want to and reframe my truth. So today, I choose to let go of all of my blocks. I choose to take one small step at a time, one small action at a time, And I choose the excitement that comes knowing I'm progressing. I choose to focus on the joy that growth is bringing. Of the empowerment that growth can bring. I choose to focus on the service that I can offer to people. and how much I can help them and how validating that is. I choose to focus on the client. Growth after all is not about me. Business growth is about my clients. It's about helping as many people as I can. It's not about me and it doesn't have to be about me. So I choose to let go of all of the focus on me here with the knowledge that I have the ability to do so and I choose to focus on the clients And I choose to welcome in those new clients and new opportunities to be able to grow. And with all of that knowledge and all of that reminder, I now choose to let go of all of these limiting beliefs and all of these blocks that no longer serve me. Just close your eyes. Take a deep breath and just thank yourself and honour yourself for taking the time to work on this today. Whatever came up for you during that session, please make note of that uh, in your notepad. While this was done generally because it's for YouTube, there would be specific things that came up for you as you were asking yourself the questions about what are your blocks and your fears and things like that. Um, So that is something that you can then go away and tap on in just similar sort of sequence, similar sort of format, but just substituting the specific things that came up for you um, in your wording. And of course you can always reach out. Um, We can look at doing one-on-one sessions. A one-on-one session will allow you to go really deep into what those blocks and fears may be Um, or I'm always happy just to give advice if you need to comment below or get in touch via my socials. So I hope that that helped you to relieve some of the strong emotions around your blocks um, and give you a little bit of clarity on why you might not be moving forward and how you may be able to move forward and grow and accept in those new clients. Until we tap next time, take care.